This Hemi I just bought is a Predator. It's a 60363. I'm not sure if all of them with this lot number are Hemi's or not, but this is the particular one I just bought. And it's got a cast aluminum valve cover made by L-O-N-C-I-N, August of 2014. And I just bought it here in February 2015. It's a part number 60363. Uh, take that with a word of caution because there's a lot of different versions in these Harbor Freight stuff. And so you may want to just make sure what you're getting. Anyways, this unit here has got cast iron, uh, a cast valve cover so I peeked through the box to make sure that's what it was here's what the rockers look like push the valves down and then the valves on here the intake is 27 millimeters in diameter exhaust is 25 of course it's got a 14 millimeter plug this is a hemispherical chamber it's a 70 millimeter bore on the uh, piston and bolts on here, the head bolts, this is almost square through here. The engine itself looks like this. And the top has got a uh, feature like this on the gas tank that's raised up like this. It's different than the other one. Now what's weird is this engine here is actually the newest ones they have on the shelf at the local Harbor Freight. This is a 60363 the other ones they have which are older are these 69730s with the stamped uh, valve cover that's different than this. And they have a different type of rockers on, the, on that one. I can't say which one's older or newer. This has got some date codes in here, 2013 and a 2014 on the die. All this Harbor Freight stuff's always changing around, so take this with a grain of salt. But I just wanted to get one of the Hemi's just to uh, mess around with. And I took this one apart just to make sure before I buy another one maybe. And I just wanted to show this video because I read a lot on the internet. Got totally confused about old and new versions. And I think there's a zillion different versions out there. The carburetor on here, uh, one of the tuning sites, is no longer a Ratto. And this is an SPE. SP carburetor on this particular unit here uh, that I got. The box over here I had has got a uh, green eco symbol on it. It's got the cast iron or the die cast valve cover instead of stamped. And the symbol over here has got 60363 and it's got a PO number 6192243. That's just the order they have when they get these in by batches. And what I did is I went through and on the carry slots on this thing, uh, you can flip the motor around and go in here and peer in here without opening the box. And I can see the cast iron valve cover here. Uh, cast, excuse me, cast aluminum valve cover to make sure that's what I was getting. And this turned out to be a Hemi engine. Uh, one of the forums mentioned this says 30, 3,800. Mine says 36 on it. So... Hollis Harbor Freight stuff varies all over the place. Okay, the box here on this Hemi is dated December 11th, 2014, which is about less than two, almost two months ago. And uh, that was to the local shipment of the sticker from Dillon, where these are imported in into Mississippi uh, to the store. This is the shipping tag to the local store. And on the shelf, they have this 60363 which on this one I particularly got is got the die cast valve cover and the Hemi and the other one on the shelf is a 69730 with a uh, stamped valve cover the one on display is an even different which is a 68120 that has a stamped valve cover again here the Hemi on here is pretty cool got a nice hemispherical deal chamber on here. Fist, piston of course is flat, 70 millimeters across. There's the intake. 
and there's the exhaust. The exhaust on the sucker was really, really tightened down. I don't know if they got some goop they put on here so it doesn't come off. It looks like there's some junk they put on there. The inside actually got this fairly well lubricated, uh, probably pre-lubricated. There's a little bit of lubricant around, assembly lube or something on this. And here's the adjustments for the valve lash. You can push this down. The other unit they had, the uh, on the other unit that's a non-heavy, the these is not square the, on the hole spacing on here. It's a little bit inboard on one of these, and this whole arrangement is different. Looks totally different. That's the one with the uh, die cast valve cover. And supposedly they've, these are the bigger valves, the 25 and 27 millimeter. One of the forums said that uh, it was actually smaller originally. These scratches on here are just me playing around. It was like a rough burr around this edge that I went through and just kind of took a and kind of cut off that burr on there and there was a little slight burr right here where the plug hole is. I went ahead and knocked that burr off just for good measure. Of course it's got a 14 millimeter plug on here. And there's the stamping on the casting. It's 13 with a date. Generally they have dots they go around and stamp either when the date it was uh, they did a modification to the die or sometimes they do this do that for the run. There's a 13 and a 14. And it might be because there's two different two different inserts on this and they um, got different dates. This is pulled out on the mold. Okay I'm going to quickly just rotate this motor around. There's the shaft. There's the low oil shut off. This is on off of course. It goes across the uh, magneto. This is L-O-N-C-I-N Lokin Motor Company 212 1 GR and it says it's a uh, 2014 model right down on here. There's so many different variants on these things that Harbor Freight stuff kind of drives me nuts. But this has got a distinctive raised feature here on the gas tank that raises up with one of the emission tubes or something. It's got 210 FA down here on the casting. A lot of the other ones on display have an R in front for uh, RATO, R-I-T-I-O, or however you pronounce it, this doesn't. And this is the, let me zoom in here. This is the L-O-N-C-I-N motor, 2014 year, and it looks like it was built in August, is the date code. It was just shipped to the local Harbor Freight here in Mississippi, and December, and this is one that's got a uh, Hemi. This Hemi engine was built in August 2014. It was shipped to the store December 2014. I bought it here in February 2015.